How long does an electric car's battery last? Some say several hundred thousand kilometers, while others claim that after barely a hundred thousand kilometers, the battery is junk and must be disposed of as hazardous waste. So what's the truth? On this channel, I guide you in making yourself and your business more future-proof. Please feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. Exactly three years ago, I published this video. Will electric cars become mainstream? Are they the future? My answer back then was that around 2030, in Europe, more than 80% of newly sold cars would be battery electric. This is already the case in Norway today, with almost 82% share of electric cars. Over the course of these three years, the number of sheer misinformed and ignorant comments under this video was really horrifying. The less someone knew, the more aggressive they were. One common misconception was that an electric car's battery hardly lasts 100,000 kilometers before ending up as toxic junk in a landfill. Why is battery lifespan crucial for our future? Because batteries are a pivotal component for a brighter future with clean, renewable energy. Without significant storage capacity, solar and wind energy won't be enough. Second, transportation is one of the most significant energy consumers. Three, mobility is one of the key industries, employs millions of people, and the future of these jobs depends on the success of electromobility. And four, for a sustainable and carbon neutral economy, we need to electrify not just mobility, but almost all sectors. This means moving away from oil, gas, and coal. Merely by electrifying, we would reduce our global energy consumption by 56% according to a comprehensive and detailed study by Stanford University. And this isn't just wishful thinking, it's achievable, it's doable with existing means, technologies and resources. Let's look at reality based on scientific data. All sources are linked. Lithium batteries essentially come in two different chemistries, NMC and LFP. NMC are the older lithium ion batteries made of lithium, nickel, manganese and cobalt. The Tesla Model S, released in 2012, was the first mass-produced car powered by NMC batteries. NMC batteries boast a higher energy density than LFP and can quickly deliver more power. Here's a rundown of real-world data. Each point represents the so-called battery degradation, dependent on kilometers driven. Degradation indicates that a battery over its lifetime loses storage capacity due to wear initially faster and then progressively slower. In real life, a battery should maintain 70 to 80% of its capacity to be deemed usable for a vehicle. The real-world data from actual cars reveals that even the older versions of Tesla Model S batteries still hold over 90% of their capacity after 250,000 kilometers. In a more recent representation, the x-axis indicates 200,000 miles or about 320,000 kilometers and the capacity remains at 88 percent. Most vehicles don't even last 320,000 kilometers. But it gets even better. LFP are the newer lithium batteries made of lithium, iron and phosphate. LFP batteries will likely power most future electric vehicles. They're cheaper because they don't contain nickel or cobalt. They can be charged up to 100% without issues, they are less sensitive during colder months and pose even less fire risk. Footnote, recent research suggests that combustion engine cars are about 19 times more likely to catch fire than electric vehicles. The only disadvantage LFP batteries have over NMC batteries is their slightly lower energy density. So how long do LFP batteries last? Multiple scientific studies from various teams address this question, such as this one. If you charge and drive at an average temperature of 25 degrees centigrade, the battery retains 93% of its capacity after 3000 charging cycles. At 15% centigrade, more typical for European climates, it's around 95%. To be conservative, 90% is a safe estimate. We'll delve deeper into the significance of charging cycles shortly. In the next study, charging cycles vary based on how much the battery needs charging represented by DOD, the depth of discharge. The result? If you recharge the battery by 50% every time per cycle, 
represented by the blue line, it holds 90% of its capacity after 3000 cycles again. Charging more frequently by only 30% means the battery still retains 90% after 5000 cycles. In reality, you'd rarely charge from 0 to 100%. Frequent charging up to 80% only happens for those who travel extensively. Even then, the battery retains about 83% of its capacity after 3000 cycles. And another study yields slightly different results. However, it confirms that under regular use, a battery retains around 90% of its capacity after 3000 cycles. So how many kilometers does a battery last? And what do these charging cycles mean? One charge cycle equates to a full battery charge and discharge. Suppose a battery provides a relatively modest 400 km of range. Most cars have more today. Europeans drive an average of 38 km a day. With a 400 km range, multiplying 400 km by 3000 charging cycles gives an astounding 1.2 million km. At this point, the battery still retains 90% of its original capacity. Extending the findings from these results, typically, even after 5000 cycles, the battery remains at 80%, translating to at least 1.8 million kilometers. And there's more. Current scientific consensus suggests that an LFP battery can endure up to 10,000 charge cycles before transitioning to its second life as a stationary storage unit. That's 3.5 million kilometers. LFP batteries are gaining more and more market share. And already the next generation of cell chemistry is on the market, so-called LMFP batteries, which in addition to lithium, iron and phosphate, also contain some manganese. The LFP batteries are already very convincing, but LMFP will achieve another leap in performance. They will even last longer, they can be charged even faster and they will have a higher energy density, so the ranges will increase by around 10 to 15%. Goshen High Tech from China is currently producing a battery with a thousand kilometers of range. If we deduct 20% because of the very optimistic Chinese standard, it is still 800 kilometers. So we would need to double the 1.2 and the 3.5 million kilometers. And the battery won't have to be huge for it. CATL and several smaller European companies are already producing LMFP batteries. Therefore, we might not necessarily need the long-awaited solid-state batteries to charge faster and drive farther. Why does a car battery last longer than a phone battery? The very clever ones who commented wrote that they can judge by their smartphones that the battery becomes practically unusable after three or four years. What these armchair experts don't consider is that, first, a battery in an electric car is monitored by a BMS, a battery management system. The cells are always kept at a healthy temperature, meaning they're heated or cooled as needed. This greatly extends their lifespan. Two, smartphones are typically fully charged daily, which significantly ages the batteries. With electric cars using NMC, you usually only charge up to 80%. LFP batteries can be charged up to 100% without drawbacks. And three, nowadays the cell chemistries in electric car batteries are much more advanced than those in smartphones or laptops. Why do we need such long-lasting batteries? One or two million kilometers, no one needs that, right? Yes, we do. First, in a few years we'll have autonomous vehicles that don't just drive one or two hours a day, but 10 to 15 hours a day. They will drive more than 300,000 kilometers a year. For this, we need batteries with 5,000 or more charge cycles, which can then be removed after 10 years and reused as stationary batteries. And there's a second application in the future. When most households or most robotaxi fleets have electric vehicles, we can use their batteries as vehicle to grid storage. When more and cheaper electricity is available, the car batteries take in power. And when less and more expensive electricity is available, the battery supplies the households. Now what? It's a myth that batteries in electric vehicles become toxic waste for the landfill after hardly 100,000 kilometers. Scientifically and practically proven, they last many hundreds of thousands of kilometers. LFP batteries even more than a million or several million kilometers. And they're not toxic waste either. They are recycled because even after decades, all raw materials are still present in the battery and they can be reused. 
The recycling rate is over 96% and recycling capacities are expanding worldwide. The reason there's little to recycle so far of car batteries is that they last so long. Three years ago, I thought my piece on electric cars wasn't really necessary because it seemed so obvious. But even today, and probably in a few more years, there are still surprisingly many people who have fallen victim to misinformation about electromobility. The sad part is that even under this post, comments will appear that simply ignore all studies and claim that I am deliberately spreading lies here and that I'm paid by the Green Party or by some mysterious electro lobby, whatever that might be. What kind of sad worldview do these people have? No, dear conspiracy theorists, you don't have to pay anyone to spread proven technical facts. And it's the Chinese who are expanding electromobility with incredible consistency and speed. And there are no Greens. There is no Green Party in China. The German and the European economy, and so is the US economy and the Japanese economy, they are extremely dependent on the success of their automotive industry. It's not just the well-known brand manufacturers, but thousands of suppliers and many other jobs in different sectors, entire families and regions depend on each job in the automotive industry. Our automotive sector long failed to understand and ignored the significance of battery technology. Therefore, it's almost impossible to catch up with the lead of the competition from China and Tesla. These competitors are just too fast. To catch up with them, either the Chinese and Tesla would have to slow down for a while, and the traditional manufacturers would have to speed up a lot. Both is realistically very unlikely. No, electromobility is not an idea of the Greens. That's the big mistake of the skeptics and cynics. And again, there are no Greens in China. The Chinese are extremely rational and strategic. They know that battery electric mobility is technically, economically, and ecologically by far the better alternative to the combustion engine mobility of the past. Share this piece with your friends and colleagues for whom it could be useful. Here you will find a playlist with more videos on the mobility of the future. We're happy to support you in developing and implementing your future strategy. We have more than 30 years experience in this. And it's now also possible for small companies. Just email me or follow the links in the description. I wish you a very bright future.